word of Almighty God. And, and so we need to realize that the word of God is infallible. It's the word of it's right. It was right before you got here. Yes, it's right now, and it'll be right when you're gone. Yes, and just because you disagree, it's still right. Yes, Is that right? The Bible says in Romans 3, 23, Yea, let God be true, yes, and every man a liar. The Bible is still right. Yes. If you have your Bible, look with me, if you will, to Matthew. Uh, that's Matthew, the 21st chapter. And if you stay with me, I'll be where y'all want me after a while, but we got to build it first. Matthew, the 21st chapter. Let's begin with around verse number 23. And I want to, to understand as you're turning there that we are concerned this morning about truth. The proverb writer said in Proverbs chapter 23 and verse 23, he said, Buy the truth and sell it not. The Bible says again in John chapter 1 and verse 17, For the law came by Moses, but grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. John 17, 17, the Bible says, Sanctify them through thy word. Thy word is truth. The Bible says again in Galatians chapter 4 and around verse 16, That I hope that I will become your enemy because I tell you the truth. John 4, 24, God is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in the spirit and in truth. And you know, we got a lot of churches this morning who, uh, right next door, I heard some spirit, but I bet you don't have no truth. And then I've been to a lot of churches of Christ that have the truth, but they don't have no, don't get mad, don't have no spirit. But if our worship is going to be acceptable, it must be done in spirit and in truth. John 8, 32, the Bible lets us know that ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall make you free. So we're just glad to be here and concerned this morning about the truth. If you have Matthew chapter 21 and verse 23, just say amen. All right, read with, read, read with me. You don't mind. Do y'all have King James out there? Y'all have a King James? All right, I thought I'd check. I was doing this one time in, in a meeting, and I got to reading, and they were reading something different than what I was reading, and then I realized everybody had different Bibles. But do y'all have King James? Uh, we, we would be if you had the King James Version. I think it'll sound real good of all of us. But wouldn't y'all like that if your neighbor read? Let's all read. Let's all read uh, Matthew chapter... Uh, it's all right to act like I'm at home, isn't it, y'all? All right, Matthew chapter 21. And uh, let's begin with verse 23. We're going to conclude and end and terminate with verse number 27. But the Bible reads, let's begin with verse 23. The Bible says, And when he was come into the temple... The chief priest and the elders of the people came unto him as he was teaching and said, By what authority dost thou these things? And who gave thee this authority? And Jesus answered and said unto them, I also will ask you one thing, which if I tell me, I in likewise will tell you by what authority I do these things. The baptism of John, whence was it, from heaven or of men? And they reasoned with themselves, saying, If we shall say from heaven, he will say unto us, Why did ye not then believe him? But if we shall say of men, we fear the people, for all hold John as a prophet. And they answered Jesus and said, We cannot tell. And he said unto them, Neither I tell you by what authority I do these things. Now look with me, if you will, at particular. We're going to talk about all of this particular proverbial pericope. But just look, if you will, look at verse number 23 in particular, and also verse 25, if we're going to get our topic from this morning. Look at verse number 23. You see that part where it says, By what authority, are you with me? By what authority dost thou do these things? Underline that because that's part of my topic. By what authority does thou do these things? Keep that in mind. By what authority does thou do these things? Now say it with me now. By what authority does thou do these things? I hold it. Now drop down to verse 25. Now you see that part where it says the baptism of John, which one of it? Underline this next part. From heaven or of men. Now say it with me. 
from heaven or of me. Now let's put all that together. So our topic this morning is going to be, by what authority does thou do these things? And is it from heaven or of me? Are you with me? So that's my topic for this morning. I want to ask everybody in here, by what authority does thou do these things? And is it from heaven or is it of me? Are y'all with me here? All right. Now everybody turn your neighbor. I, I like y'all talking to me. Y'all don't mind, do you? So turn your neighbor. And if you turn your neighbor, say neighbor. Okay, y'all don't like that neighbor. Turn the other neighbor then and say neighbor. Go ahead. It's all right. Say, it's okay. Say neighbor. Stay with me. He's going somewhere. All right. Very good. Now, now watch this now. By what authority does thou do these things? And is it from heaven or is it from me? Now, I need to tell you three things about my preaching, and then we're going to get into my sermon. Those of you that have heard me already know my, my style and know how I preach. Now, now my sermon is about, and my wife may disagree, but my sermon is about 30 minutes long. We 